the ancient fight between religion and science. Great men of science had been, well, kind of uh, uh, executed and murdered and stuff like that by the church. And in reverse, too. But that struggle, that exact struggle, as shown in this book. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this awesome book, Angels and Demons, by Dan Brown, the extreme thriller writer himself. And well, let's get right on to it. You see, the the library book that I borrowed had no cover page, so I got I got the image online and. Gotta say, pretty cool cover page, and well, it is Race Against Time. Robert Talangton, symbol symbology professor at Harvard University, and our dear Mr. Langdon has been called, and he has been called to witness on a horrible murder, a murder which has symbology in it. And that symbology that appears in that appears is quite disturbing. The symbol of an ancient satanic cult. The Illuminati. Now, the Illuminati is not a satan a satanic cult. They are actually a group of scientists. Uh, Albert Einstein and so many brilliant minds of the past has been joined into this little organization called the Illuminati. And the Illuminati, well, they weren't a satanic cult. But later on, the group of desperate scientists running from the church and the group who got, you know, destroyed in the Crusades, if you know what I mean, by the Catholics trying to take back Holy Land, those two things came together. And eventually, they became the Illuminati, which was kind of like evil at that point in time. And, well, the Illuminati shows symmetry and pagan gods and just a lot of things. And, well, Robert Langdon is a professor of symbology. And personally, the book was great. And it's about a thrilling chase. You see, there's... Sci science fiction in this thing, and he, when he goes to witness the murder, he goes to CERN, which is a research lab for the most advanced science that humanity has ever witnessed. At CERN, they, they do things that, that's impossible at this point in time, and what they do have is antimatter. Antimatter, which a tiny little bit could blow up just like that, a city block. And this antimatter has been stolen, and a quite a large amount too, by the Illuminati. And that quite a large amount is just enough to blow up the Vatican. Very interesting, isn't it? And meanwhile, the serial killer who calls himself the Assassin, one of. one. um. Uh, some sort of descendant of the original assassins, and you know what the uh, root, what what assassin, and we still use that word in English. You know what that word is pronounced? Well, it's a different, really different assassin, really. Right these days, we say assassin. You see, his, uh, the word assassin came from assassin, if if you know what I mean. Anyway, this assassin. He is a very evil person, and he thinks he is following the, the, what he needs to do, what he needed to do for the Illuminati, and, well, Jesus. And really, the, it's a desperate chase against time. They need to locate the antimatter bomb inside the church, inside the Vatican, or the church dies. And if the church dies, the Illuminati rises. And meanwhile, four cardinals, four cardinals after the recent pope's death, 
they are the ones who would become the next pope, or would possibly become the next pope. And these cardinals has been kidnapped. And these cardinals are the ones being killed brutally in churches every hour after 8 p.m. Can Robert Langdon win against the race against time, find the antimatter bomb using a absolutely well spellbinding and I, I I I can't understand kind of symbols, and he needs to go through ancient cults, ancient cults, and ancient meeting places for the cults themselves. Can Robert Langdon do it? Pretty much. And at first, I kind of suspected. The director of CERN to being the bad guy and that suspicion became correct and then the twist and then it's not and really you cannot see the twists coming if you read this book you cannot see the twists coming there is a quadruple twist about the villain seriously it's not a triple twist not a double twist it's a quadruple twist gotta read this book guys and like Always your book wester and the book wester. Got this book, guys. Dan Brown did it again. Or for the first time, this is his first book.